Hi everyone, my name's Emmy Lou, and I'm going to draw you a snow leopard. I nearly forgot. I'm going to draw you a snow leopard today. I wanted to show you a really cool artist. It's not really based on a snow leopard, but he did. It was called Henry Rousseau. He was French. He's not alive anymore, but he did this awesome picture called Surprise, where the tiger's kind of coming through the jungle. So because we're doing a snow leopard, we'll just stick to the normal snow leopard, and then maybe we could do something in the background but it depends what we feel like doing. But he did lots of jungle animals and he loved painting different animals. He did, this one's quite a strange one. It's a, I think it's a, a tiger or a cheetah possibly eating a horse. Doesn't look happy, does it? <laughs> this is a surprise picture. So it's called the surprise or surprise um, by Henry Russo. Can you see all the cool different greens? They're really cool, aren't they? and the tiger's lurking in there. Then what I really like about this one is I really like the leaves. Can you see how the monkey's eating the orange or the tropical fruit and you've got all these different colored leaves. I love it, I just think it looks really cool. So we could do our snow leopard if we want in some leaves, it doesn't matter too much. But I'm doing it today for Evie and Joel as well as obviously everyone else. But Evie and Joel asked for me to do a snow leopard. So let's go. Okay, so we want a face here. So just think circle on your landscape piece of paper. Then you want to do, you want to do an ear. And then you want to go. So just two little ears. Think about, it's a little bit like a teddy bear. You could do like just one line there, a little bit there. Got to remember where my, where my, um, oh man, ah, there we are, oh, it's like I trod on a pin, um, <laughs> trying to look for the tip X to rub out, <clears throat> but you're going to use a rubber, an eraser, so you touch just about here, just here, and you're going to go down, 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 whoa, so down, and then, because that's going to be the back of the snow leopard. And then here, just touch that cookie shape and you want to go down. So you want to go down, 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 down. Can you see how I've kind of curved it a little bit? So it's not straight down, it's just curved. And then where the curvy bit is, we're going to do... Meow. Now, because this is a leg, we want to go up. So this line's going to go like that in front. The leg behind, you can pause this video if I'm going super fast, I'm trying not to. But this little leggy bit, little line there, because he's got two legs, one behind, one in front. Now this leg's quite chunky, so we're just going to touch this bit there and maybe float across with your pencil, and you're going to go, ah. So if you look at it, you don't have to do this bit, we might rub out a little bit of that to be fair. But as long as it's a chunky line, so think about a leg. This is your leg, so if you want straight line, it's completely fine. Okay, so now we want to do this. We want to, he's got a big hind leg. You know how your cat, if you have one at home, your cats are normally, they've got a big hind leg. So what you want to do is think about this space, just go across, uh, just about there. So maybe use your eyes to help you, as in just use your eyes to train yourself to know where to put things. Because if you measure stuff or use a ruler, it's not going to teach you how to do it properly. So you're going to touch that bit there and you go like this. So think about, it's almost like it reminds me of a tummy of a capital D or a C. And then you go round. So this bit is the hind leg. And then what you want to do here is if this bit's a bushy tail. He's got a real bushy, bushy tail. So you're going to do this. You're going to draw a C. I don't know if it looks like a C on the video. It might look like a tummy of a capital D, but draw this shape. Then quite lightly, you're going to go up, around, and then touch that bit there and go, whoa. So this is where his tail is. It's turning around, a little bit like when a cat's sitting near the fireplace, or it's sitting on the doormat. It's got this tail, bushy tail though, this one. And then you want just a little line there because his legs kind of going out and then his foot's coming out there, but you don't really see it. So what I might do is snow leopard could possibly be in some kind of grassy 
obviously it's a snow leopard so there'll be quite a lot of white snow perhaps but I'm going to do it in some grass just because it looks quite cool and then here just do some jaggedy lines because it's his whole fur now we want the face to look more like a snow leopard so think about I'm going to do this really lightly but you've got to rub out so you've got to rub this out but you're going to do a line this line lets you know where the nose is going to go so in that line we're going to do a V. So in that line, do a V. Each side, jelly bean. Jelly bean, which sounds delicious, doesn't it? Oh, love jelly beans. Now you've got a line there, the one that we've already got. And then what you're going to do is go out, go out. And then you've got underneath this little, it's like a little chin. It's a furry chin. So just do your furry chin and you want to do, it looks a bit strange actually, doesn't it? It's probably going to be this if I'm not completely honest with you. So you did a V, two jelly beans, line down and then one bit there, one bit there. Then what we'll do is this will be, this will be the chin bit there. It probably looks more realistic, doesn't it? Now we want these bits to go up, so we're going to go touch the bit there and go up, touch the bit there, go up. And then what we want to do is create the eyes. So rainbow, rainbow. If I've done this super fast, just pause the video because <laughs> sometimes I'm like, Whoa. it's because I want you to get it all done in time. So we're going to do the, double, the upside down rainbow, upside down rainbow. Now it's up to you how you want to do the eyes, but he's got gorgeous eyes and cats tend to have Kind of like the little bits on the each side you know how I've got my makeup a little bit like that a cat's eyes now we could just do this because he's got this little bit of his nose there that we're going to color in and then here we're going to rub out now get the rubber so get your rubber and you want to rub out no, oh no look at the tip it rub out that cookie bit here whoa it's chunky monkey this guy rub out the guideline you don't need that guideline anymore Lots of that's going on there. I would say we're going to rub out quite a bit, but I'm probably not going to rub it out because what you can do is you can rub it out, but here it's kind of fluffy. So you want to make him look fluffy and they're straight across. So if you can make it straighter and then you don't have to add it all in now, perhaps because we're going to, we're going to color it in anyway, but here he's got some lines. What you could do is dot, because this is where his whiskers are coming out. So do some dots and the whiskers coming out. And then because he's so hairy or fluffy, I like to do a jaggedy line, but you don't need to. It's just zigzaggy, that's all it is. So here would actually be zigzag. The thing I wanted to show you is here, it's not gonna be all spotty. So we're just going to do a little line there, a little line there. The tail's really cool because it's kind of like, it's almost like, I don't know if you know Garfield the cat, stripy cat cartoon, it's so cool. But then you want to do zigzag because he did, Garfield, this cat, um, was orange and had stripes on him, he looked cool. So here's where all the fluffiness happens. It's all fluffy there, fluffy there. So I'm just doing zigzaggies. You don't really have to do this, to be honest. I want to do all the little shapes on there, but I feel like we can add that at the end. So whatever you're using doesn't matter. Just take your time. I'm going to use, what colour is a snow leopard? I think it's white. I'm just going to double check. Yeah. Hmm, it's kind of, get this, if you've got a chalk pastels, they're my fave, favourite, uh, I've got a sandy colour, so if you've got a coloured pencil, maybe a brown will be fine, I think a brown will be okay if I'm honest, just a light brown, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here, I'm just going to colour it all in, I'm mostly colouring here, holding the pastel on the side, because I find that a lot quicker.
And to be honest with you, not all of them is this colour. Right, so that is all the colour of what I want to do for Snow Leopard. And I'm going to smudge away with one hat. Well, you're supposed to do it with one finger. To smudge away. I think because I've done so many videos, I assume you know, but not necessarily. Because <laughs> I forget sometimes. I just was like, oh, I'll heart the no, no. Okay, so now we want to do. I would take like a brown. If you've already got the brown you've done for that, you can use the same if you like. But what I want to do is I am going to outline it with a fluffy, fluffy kind of line. If you don't want to do a fluffy line, you do not have to. It's totally up to you. I mean, this one's sitting in the snow. So maybe we could do jaggedy rocks rather than grass. It might make more sense. So I'm going all the way round. If you would rather do the white bits there grey, because then it will look more grey, it will look kind of cool. I'm actually drawing round my nose. I'm actually drawing around all my pencil lines now. So I'm drawing around everything. Now I'm gonna, once you've drawn around everything, I'm gonna take my little finger, I'm gonna take it for a walk. It's doing its daily exercise. <laughs> and if it smudges a bit like that, that looks really cool, so don't worry. It just softens the line, it looks kind of cool. Now here we could have done grey maybe to make the white look kind of cool but it's okay it doesn't matter okay right now the tail this is what we could do actually the tail is white there's a lot of white so I'm going to get a bit of grey I'm going to do a little bit every time you put grey on something that's white it makes it look it's hard to explain but if you go round something that's white in grey and then smudge it it just makes it look like it's more kind of shadow, more 3D, it looks kind of cool if you've got pastels. If you've got oil pastels, try and do the same. And if you've got chalk pastels, try and do the same. Should be roughly the same thing each time you do it. I'm gonna do little yellow eyes. Little yellow eyes. He looks kind of cool actually. Kind of a cool dude. And then a black bobbly bit. I think what I like to do is, I like to just go around the eyes in black because it really stands out. Mm. And then your little cool thing. Yeah, I like black because it makes it really stand out now, doesn't it? It's cool. Oh man, just smudged it slightly. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Right, now you want to do this. The tail's got really fluffy markings in black. So I've got my black now. I'm going to do some fluffy markings. You want to make sure it looks like fur. So hang on, I'm just going to look at my reference picture. Hmm. Yeah, so we're going to do black for the ear. So just like that. Just like that. And then we're going to... I think it always looks cool when you're doing the spots. I have to say, the spots make it come to life. Don't worry about this line, you still can go over it. Now, the thing about this one is he's got wobbly, cool, they're really, oh, they're lovely, beautiful markings on his body. So you could do that, but inside each one, it's kind of brown. Not all of them though. Where his legs are, it's just black got sometimes look to, in case it doesn't look right. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on what you're doing. Oh, he's got a cool tail. I'm just gonna do black there, just a shadow. He's got a lot on his back. I think they have the most on their spine bit where it's there. Right, what you can do now is get your one little finger. I always called it a winger when I was small. It's so cute. And then just go round because you kind of wanna and it, it's good if it's not completely rounded. Like if it's a bit blobby, it's fine. It's really nice to just have a go at doing something different. 
So if you find chalk's really easy now, because you've used it, have a go at doing it in paint. And if you've done paint, or you can't, or you're not allowed to do paint because it's messy, then you can do watercolour maybe. So really work into that. Just trying to think it's tails kind of going up like this. I'm going to get some black. Where's my black? Kind of like the bushiness of the tails going this way. And it's white, the tail. Well, it's white with a bit of shadow. So we're going to put a bit of shadow in there. Anywhere where there's sort of like dark bits of the body, we can shadow it in a little bit. Oof. Okay. So that's roughly, and they said cheetah, that's roughly my snow leopard. How are you getting on, Joel and Evie? Show me when you're finished, because that'll be cool. Now what I'm going to do is, I was going to do grass here, but what I'm going to do is grey rocks. Because I always do grass, <laughs> so I think I'm going to try something different. And what you could do as well, is you could make it snow. You could do lots of bobbles in the background of snow. Or you could do a snowman. <laughs> it's quite cool. So there's the rocks. The rocks. Okay. I guess you'd see the other leg perhaps because it would go this way so if you want to you can draw the other leg there if you've got a gap there probably give that a go probably wouldn't matter too much to be honest but then because I started off with grass <laughs> I might as well just draw over as though they're rocks there you go that's kind of cool because the tail actually looks like that in real life but it's strange that when something looks like something in real life and then you draw it, it doesn't quite look the same, it's bizarre. Um, but if you want to make the tail look a little less chunky monkey, because it is a chunky tail, you could just do it lighter at the end so it doesn't sort of have too much there going on. So that is my snow leopard. I kind of feel like it needs to be like that. <laughs> I'm gonna be there all day doing stuff. Uh, but yeah, have a go, have a go. If you don't like the way the tail is, you could always do it a little bit more rounded there. It's up to you. Just have a little bit of an experiment. Um, but yeah, we can do some snow. Like Christmas. Oh, that would be cool on a Christmas card, wouldn't it? So you could literally do it snowing. Oh, that would be really nice. So subscribe and share this video with all your friends. Yeah, and show me your work. Let me know what you've done. Send me them in because I love seeing them. I'll put them on my Facebook. So yeah, enjoy and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.